from the time I was 11 years old, my ambition was to be a novelist, and I pursued it relentlessly uh, through several unpublished books. Uh, eventually, I had moved into an academic career. I realized I didn't want to be an English professor, and I went to law school. And as I always say, going to law school proved to be the great break of my literary career because it gave me a subject and uh, I published a memoir of my time in law school and then many novels about the law. Um, in the process, I became a member of the Authors Guild, um, joined the board uh, and became the president three years ago. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm deeply conscious of trying to um, create a world where writing remains a possibility as a livelihood. Uh, writing is a profound use of oneself, uh, especially when it's going well, like I'm reading the page proofs on my new novel, and you know, I'm sitting there going, okay, you did a pretty good job with this. I feel satisfied with it. I mean, it's a tremendous high. It's all you, it's all self-generated. It comes totally from within. Uh, and to see it come to something that will have some minimal impact on, you know, several hundred thousand, probably, you know, million lives. It's really neat. So it's a tremendously rewarding thing. You know, I think uh, there are three ingredients for young writers. Um, one, uh, naturally, is talent. Uh, and the second is luck. Um, you know, I don't um, regard myself without esteem, but I also know that I was lucky to be writing at a time when Americans became curious about the lives of lawyers. Um, but the other thing is within your control, and that is to say persistence. To succeed in the arts, uh, generally, you've got to be able to take a punch and get up off the canvas. Uh, and I wrote several unpublished novels before my first novel was published. and. Uh, you know, you've got to do it for two reasons. One is the unsuccessful book will teach you how to be a writer. And the other is it just takes a while for lightning to strike. You've got to raise your umbrella in the storm. Copyright is an odd creature that was created by the Constitution uh, and gives to authors and inventors a monopoly for a limited period of time over the intellectual property that they have created. Um, it's not supposed to be perpetual. Uh, eventually, works uh, go into public domain, which is fine. Um, but for a limited period of time, authors are supposed to be able to get the benefit of what they've created. I'm Scott Turo, and ideas matter to me because they move the world. Um, and uh, you know, the idea of copyright has protected an independent class of creators in this country, which is just what the framers of the Constitution had in mind.